So you haven't started an ATM business yet because you hate business, the idea of business and what it stands for. That's what we're going to talk about right now in this video. My name is Carrie Buck. I've been an independent ATM business owner since 2009, and I've been an ATM business mentor since 2011. If you'd like me to help you start your own ATM business, or if you want to learn more about the ATM business, just click the link in the description. Please, before we go anywhere, don't forget to like this video, hit that ATM in the corner, subscribe to this channel, hit that bell notification, select always, so every time I post a video, you're first to know about it. All right, so you're like, you know what, Carrie? I haven't started an ATM business because I just hate the idea of business and everything it stands for and capitalism and it's all bullshit and you know, blah, 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 blah. You're full of shit. You're full of shit. You don't hate business and capitalism and everything it stands for because I'm sure you're wearing clothes, I'm sure you're eating, I'm sure you're driving a vehicle or a bike or you live in a house or you run an apartment or you got shoes on your feet or socks on your feet or sandals on your feet, right? So everything you fucking do in life is because of business, okay? You have a job, it's because of business, right? If you have any amount of money in your pocket, it's because of business, okay? So you don't hate business and what it stands for, right? You're just, I don't, I don't even know what your deal is, right? But why not flip that on its head and love business and what it stands for? And know that you can make a difference in your life, in your family's life, in these business owners' lives, in the uh, customers that go into this business, these businesses' lives, in the employees at these businesses' lives. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you literally can make a difference. I know you're thinking, Carrie, it's just a freaking ATM. How's that making a difference? Well, one day I was on my way to go fill one of our ATMs. It's in a, a hair salon, like a higher end hair salon, right? And I'm on my way to go fill it, and it was rush hour traffic, and it was backed up, and there was no way I was going to make it there before they closed. No way. Like, zero chance. And so I called the owner, and I was her name's Kim. I said, Kim, I'm not going to make it here. I'm not going to make it there before you guys close. And she's like, it's okay. I'll stay here. I'll wait for you. I'm like, Kim, I'm going to be like an hour or so. She's like, it's fine. It's fine. It's just, I'll, I'll wait for you. I'm like, Okay. So I eventually get there about an hour or so. And you know, I'm filling the ATM and you know, we're just chatting a little bit. And I was like, you know, I really appreciate you waiting for me. I said, you know, I, I was surprised you were gonna wait this long for me. She's like, oh yeah, yeah, no problem. She's like, you know, I, I have to, I had to wait here for you. And I'm like, why? She's like, because I, I, I need the ATM to have money in it because it helps my girls. My girls depend on it for tips. She's like, so, I need to make sure I always have this machine filled because the customers need it because they, they want to make sure that they tip the, the, the person that just served them, right? And then the person that just did the serving, they want to make sure the machine is filled because they want to, you know, get tipped. Do you know what I mean? And then, so here I am, I, you know, I, I'm telling you, before this moment, right, before this moment happened, I too thought, that's just an ATM business, what's the big deal? But when Kim had that conversation with me that day, it changed my entire perspective about things. Like, I'm literally helping customers that use the machine. I'm helping the employees that are getting tips from the machine. And I'm helping the business owner feel good about um, serving their employees and their customers. You know what I mean? And then of course, you know, we do profit sharing so that they get that as well. Right? So there's, there's so many different levels and layers to the ATM business and you really are helping more people than you think with your ATM business. So don't hate the idea of business. Don't hate the idea of capitalism, right? Just embrace it and learn and figure out how you can use it to um, better yourself, number one, and better in the lives of other people around you, right? Maybe you're like, you know what? I will start an ATM business and 100% of my profits, I'm going to donate it to my church or my my uh, fire company or um, helping stray cats and dogs. You know what I mean? Like Whatever it is, but you use it for what you want to use it for. Without business and capitalism, I'm sorry, we wouldn't be living in this great freaking world that we live in, this great country that we live in. Right, because 
business and capitalism is why we all have jobs, it's how we can eat, it's how we can live, like how we drive, how we drive. Do you know what I mean? Without all of that, what do we got? We got nothing. So be a part of it. Like be a part of it and 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 bring you and your values and, and how you feel and, and how you love to that business. Do you know what I mean? That's why when we um do our uh, mobile events, we donate a portion of our profits back to a, uh, a charity, back to a nonprofit organization uh, of the event organizer's choice. And if they don't choose, we choose. You know what I'm saying? So we bring that money back. Like you can do that too, right? So start a business, but start it on your terms and do it for uh, what has meaning to you. Don't just, you know, blindly, willy-nilly say, I hate business and what it stands for. You determine what it stands for. All right, hopefully that makes sense. You got any questions about this? Post this below. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit that uh, ATM. It's a silver ATM in the corner. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. Select always. So every time I post a video, you're first to know about it. And this is Carrie Buck signing off. May you live happily off of passive income.